Hi, my name is Trimaster04, and in today's video, I'll be actually opening up a box that just was delivered by FedEx from Lionel Trains. I believe it is going to be the Union Pacific um, 1860s era passenger cars for the brass hybrids that came out in the 2019 Volume 2 catalog, but Let's go ahead and see. Alrighty, I just got done opening the box and excuse the camera if it's a little bit shaky. Currently I'm holding it in my left hand so that I can use my right hand to open the box and show y'all. But anyway, let me lift back the flaps. Looks like it's been well packaged. And then there it is. Now this is something that I was not definitely expecting and that is a different box than the normal red or orange and blue boxes and looking at it a little closer it looks like Lionel went ahead and did the extra mile by putting the golden spike photo in the background so that is very very nice so so far high hopes on uh, with me in this box even though it's just the passenger cars I'm getting even more excited to see what the locomotive is so let me give so let me in this clip real quick and get the box out of the box. <laughs> Alrighty, I got the main box out of the shipping box and as you can see, this is actually a pretty nice box. Now I know a whole lot of you people out there and, and sometimes even me do not care much for the box, but a lot of times it is nice to actually go ahead and see Lionel going and making a different box instead of the general orange and blue boxes. But anyway, take the clear plastic off and then excuse the camera angle here's the tag Union Pacific 1860s coach 2 pack one coach with sounds one in, with interior rail sounds equipped with to pair with 440 locomotive drawbar couplers and they misspelled locomotive huh. I guess there was not enough room for it so let me open it up Excuse, excuse the camera angle. It's not one of my best. Alrighty. Oh, 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 oh. I haven't taken these out yet. This is the first time I've seen them, just as the first time it is for you. And wow. Oh, goodness sakes alive. Just look at those gorgeous coaches. Ooh, those are beautiful. Wow. Now, just to let y'all know, I will be doing a full review on these passenger coaches as well as the brass hybrid, but currently I won't be doing a product review right away for the coaches since I do not have the brass hybrid right now, but it is soon, it is due to uh, soon ship from Lionel since these passenger cars have already shipped and now they're in my hands and also probably at dealer's hands very soon, the locomotives should soon follow. So... Let me get them out of the box. Well, there we are. Here are those two coaches hooked up together. And this gives you an idea of what they're going to look like as they are hooked up together. And here's a nice little side angle. And just look how beautiful these passenger, car, passenger cars are. Something that I was worried about with both, still a bit worried about the brass hybrid is if they're going to come in with a problem or not. But looking at them in further detail, my goodness, thankfully, there is not. Like, look at the pinstripe or this leafing on it. And these aren't decals. These are actual paint. It's actual paint on them. And also look at the fine detail of the handrails. Oh, just beautiful. Now, I, I you may go ahead and say that I'm just going a little bit overboard. But really, after... Looking at passenger cars of today in the modern era, it just gets a little bit dull. But back when the 1860s were around and the Transcon was around, it just was beautiful artwork, hand-painted, brass, copper, just beautiful colors. And these just, in my opinion, just really make that pop and really presents it very well. But anyway... Let me give you a bit. So anyway, as you can see, these are just, just wow. I'm just flabbergasted a bit, as you can tell. But anyway, let me put the camera back on its stand, program the sound passenger car, and see what these sounds sound like. 
Alrighty, I've got the uh, sound car programmed and now I've got my phone back on its stand so it won't be moving and jerking all over the place. So now, let me just see what it sounds like. This is the dispatcher, do you copy? Acknowledged. Over. Start up and get ready to move. Over. Yes sir, we'll fire her up. Out. Alrighty. Now, Something I do want to note, uh, something that I noticed is that they gave it a bit of a modern flair to it, but the crew member voice dialogue is different. So let's see, let's see what the whistle sounds like. Alrighty, so it's got that rich, old 1960s. Uh, whistle to it, so that's nice. Let's listen to some of the crew chatter. Engine to dispatcher. Ready to make our pull. Can we get permission to occupy the main? Roger, your track is clear. Dispatcher over. Copy that, dispatcher. I'm green. Out. Okay, so very simple. Here's the bell. Okay, very basic. I think one bell that would have been a little bit nicer would have, uh, that gives a bit of a more clangy noise and is a bit more spaced out would have been the Santa Fe Northern, uh, Legacy Santa Fe Northern bell in them. But then again, it's, that's more of a larger locomotive with a larger bell. So this is nice. Uh, here's the blue down. That sounds right. It sounds like a small locomotive, which the 440s were. And then, let me see if I can get the chuff. Well, let me see. If I move it. Okay. Okay, now that's interesting. These cars are motion activated instead of being just directly driven, which makes sense since these are local, since these passenger cars are going to be pulled by the locomotive. So that was that makes sense for Lionel to go and do that. And then I guess really is just let me shut it down. I guess we are tied down and marking off. Oh. Well, alrighty. I was really not expecting for these to come in that soon because I was really just billed not too long ago for these passenger cars and in real and really when I opened them as you can tell from my uh, from my voice and my expression I really really like these passenger cars it makes me more excited to get the brass hybrid since that's really the main show for this set but really really nice now it would have been nice to have the sounds and the command and all the controls inside the locomotive itself, but I realized, and Lionel's really heavily emphasized it and got the word out that they just really just could not get the sounds in them, but were only able to get the command system in them. So that's nice, and it being in the locomotive having full legacy, that's even nicer. But in order to get the sound, this is a really nice alternative that Lionel did, and I really think. It was both a smart move to get a little bit more money out of it, but also a nicer way to be able to actually have a period correct freight load or passenger cars in this case to be pulled behind the locomotive. So Lionel, if you're watching this, if you ever get to my channel, wonderful job. I really love them and I hope and I cannot wait for the brass hybrids themselves. Well, that about wraps up this little short unboxing video and if you enjoyed it and you would like to support my channel please click on that subscribe button because then they'll allow you to go ahead and support my channel for one thing but also allows you to no longer miss any of the future videos such as future unboxing videos such as the brass hybrid that will be coming in soon for these passenger cars or other future Menards buildings that may be coming out. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please click on that, so that like button because they'll let me know that you actually enjoyed this video, would like to see more of this type of video, and also lets YouTube know that my channel is actually worth something.
But anyway, my name is Trainmaster04, and I'll see you next time.